I have a special interest in starting women's meetings. I keep telling the people that uh, I'm not interested in uh, changing their religion, but I want them to know the Lord himself, uh, because he has done so much in my life. We are helping at least 300 families from different backgrounds. All we can afford at this time is to give rice, sugar, lentils, and beans, and sometimes oil and milk. Women who attend the meeting, but they are also organizers with me. We passed through this difficult situation of war. We lost our families, our brothers, and our relatives from the bombings. When we come here, we began to help Sister Maha organize and pass out food. Since Jesus taught us to feed the hungry and take care of the people, I think the church is the first place where people should care for others. It's very difficult. When there are kids, they need milk and medical care. When they have health problems, we don't have the ability to treat them. My kids have health problems, and we leave them like that, and we say we are leaving them to God. If we're talking refugees, the greatest need is to find sources that can help us to do some more hunger relief and some more food packages. We are telling them about God and the love of God. Some of them are feeling the change in their life. We help them with the food aid, we visit them, we stand with them, because love of the Lord is for everyone. The offering for global missions is very, very important because it allows us to work much more easily and freely on, on the field. It allows us to have the support that we need. When you're doing this kind of work, it's hard work and you need support. The CBF offering for global missions is very important for us to continue to do and reach many people.